Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the quest for 80. Today guys, we have ventured outside of Vermont. We are at Cape Nedick, 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 I'm not sure. In Maine, we're just outside of York, Maine, if you know anything about Maine. It's a pretty nice place out here. I've actually never played at this course, never played at any golf other than Florida and Vermont. So this is gonna be an adventure. You can't already hear it. It's quite a windy day. I mean, we're maybe a mile from the ocean, not even. I mean, part of the course is probably less than a quarter mile from the ocean. So it's gonna be a windy round because we got the ocean breeze, but it feels great out here. It's a gorgeous day. I'm just like happy to be able to play golf on such a nice day, not in Vermont. So for this round, I'm not sure how we're gonna play. We're gonna play from the whites today. It could be good, it could be bad. It's definitely a course we've never played before, so it, it could be leaning more towards the bad, kind of like how we did last round, but we're just gonna focus on hitting every shot smooth and not worry about killing everything. It's a pretty chillax day. I don't think there's many people out here, so we can go ahead, take our time, and just enjoy the round. I literally just drove three and a half hours for Vermont, got out of the car, and then swung a golf club. Probably not the best idea. She probably should have gotten here a little earlier so we could do some warm ups. But first shot, definitely not amazing. Definitely in the opposite green, or actually, we're on the fairway of the hole next to hole one. So we're gonna hit a seven iron. Hopefully, we can re recover this and start off the round not so poorly. So not the best first shot. Second shot was a nice recovery shot. We landed right on the side of the green. Chip was nice. Greens feel great. Put it in for par. That's the way that we should start every single round. So double bogey on hole number two. Honestly, I'm like okay with that because that puts that two over through two. So next up we've got, what is this? Hole three, 577 par five. Whew, it's the first long hole. So we're just probably gonna, what's a driver? Let's see, we hit, a, we hit a two iron off the first tee. Let's hit driver. Looks to be a pretty straight course pretty narrow course, so we're just gonna, hopefully we don't hit it right into the woods. I already feel like I'm playing so much better than I did last round. I think it has to do with, I'm actually kinda tired to be honest with you, cause I just did a three and a half hour drive starting at seven in the morning just to come play golf, so. I think that has to play in it, so I'm not like killing every shot, which is actually making me play a lot better because I'm not trying to kill every shot. Boy, do I feel good right now. Two over through three, two pars so far, and then a double bogey. I just, I feel like I'm just playing so well because I'm just being smooth. But I think that's literally the key to golf is just don't try to be like a muscle man and try to muscle every single shot. Just swing easy and your shots will go where you want them. So next up we got hole four, par four, 302. Looks relatively straight, has a little bit of a hill in the middle and then there's hazards on left and right. So you kind of have to play it straight. So we'll probably 302. We'll probably hit either a two iron or a four iron off the tee. That way we don't have to worry about going out of bounds and then just lay up onto the green. Oh my God. Real life golf. So I've officially decided 
I could never play on the PGA because I can't hit a golf shot when someone's watching me. There was a guy mowing, there was a younger guy actually, he was probably like a college kid, mowing, and I whiffed back to back chip shots. I mean, my chip shots aren't the greatest. They're like, they're pretty inconsistent, so that played a factor into it. But like, whenever I'm playing, like around someone else, someone's watching me, like I like always mess up. It's I don't know. I just get nervous and I just mess up. So next up, we've got hole five. It's a par four, I think, 355 from the whites. Looks to be pretty straight. So I think we're just gonna hit a driver. I mean, so far we feel pretty good. I mean, we are currently five over through five. Next up we got hole six. It's 133, slightly downhill, into the wind though, par three. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna go with an eight iron, hit it smooth, and just hope that we can plop it on the green like we have been. Double bogey that puts us at, I believe, seven over through six. Not terrible, I mean, it's definitely a lot better than we were playing last round. I think what I was trying to do on that hole was, so I've noticed in a lot of my videos or a lot of these past rounds is, on my short chip shots, I've been hitting them short because I'm afraid of nuking them over. So now I'm gonna try to focus on doing the complete opposite and actually get the distance because I think if I can train myself to like, give it the right amount of power to give me the opportunity to land a green. Cause if I just hit a weak shot and never land where I want to land, I'm never going to have any success. So we hit it, landed on the green, it rolled off, then we had to chip back on and then we had to two putt. So that works where it puts us at five. Next up we've got hole four, or no, not hole four, it's hole seven. It's a par four, pretty dang straight, elevated tee box. We're just going to grip it and rip it with the driver and hope that we stay in the fairway. I find it kind of funny how weird everyone on the golf course finds it to film yourself playing golf. Like every course, almost every single course I've been to, whether it be somebody that's just playing on the course, like a, just another golfer, or if it's somebody that actually works for the course, they all are like, they find it so intriguing, which is funny to me because I, I don't know, I'm just used to making videos, so it's not weird for me. Next up, we've got hole number eight. It's a par three, pretty short par three. It's like 155. We're gonna hit a seven iron since we're hitting downhill. Hopefully just plop it on the green. So that puts us at nine over through eight. If we can just par this last hole, we'll be at bogey golf and that's exactly where I want it to be today because it's a new course and I played pretty bad last round. I mean, we played double bogey golf and I just wanted to get back to that bogey golf, which I know I can do. So that way we can start with bogey golf and work our way down from there. We just gotta get back to bogey golf. We got hole nine now, it's a par four, it's like 300-ish yards. There is a hazard right off the tee, if you can't see it right there. Uh, no, over there. Um, but it's 145 yards to carry this hazard, so we shouldn't have any problem doing that. Just hit a nice straight drive. It's kind of a dog leg ish to the left, sort of. So hit it smooth. I might even try to cut it a little bit over this tree right here, but I think we should be good.
So a double bogey on the last hole, which puts us at a total of 11 over through nine. Not terrible, I think last round we were 18 over, so we already shaved off seven strokes. And for this being a new course, new environment, actually a dry course, we're actually playing pretty dang good. I mean, it's weird to play, I mean, I only drove three hours to come play at this course. Not, I'm, I didn't just drive to this course to play this course. I'm up here for a couple days with the fam, but it's like so weird. I mean, maybe also just different courses, I don't know, but everything's dry up here and back home three hours away it's not like everything's kind of the greens are kind of slow everything's still very wet the fairways are very wet here the guy inside said you know it's a little wet out there just be careful car path only for most of the holes i don't know what he's talking about it's so dry out here so regardless i'm actually kind of happy with the front nine it means we're you know Getting back to more where we should be, we're actually hitting our shots a lot straighter and a lot smoother. I've been focusing a ton this round on not trying to kill every single shot. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to slap a like on it down below. And while you're down there guys, might as well hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, I love you all. See you guys next time. Peace out.